What's going on guys? Let's uh, go through how to set up a Nintendo emulator for Emulation Station. Uh, this is another pretty easy one, but definitely a must for anybody that wants to have a good, complete um, library of all the different kinds of emulators and games. Go ahead and open up your browser, um, go to C, Users, Your Name, of course, and Emulation Station. If you don't have Emulation Station installed, stop, go back, install it. Um, for this, we're going to go ahead and use FCEUX emulator. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, I'm sure the F stands for Famicom or something like that. But anyways, um, I'll provide a link in the description down below of where you can download this. You can just do a Google search for it. It's in a lot of different places. It's a pretty simple everyday emulator for the NES. And then for show and tell today, I'm going to bring Super Mario Brothers, the original, as my ROM. So make sure you have a game to uh, include here. And um, what you're gonna do is go in and we're gonna create our ROMs folder. And in that ROMs folder, which you probably already have, we're gonna do NES. And we're gonna drop a ROM in there. This is all pretty simple and basic. If you've seen my other videos before, it's kind of a repeat of everything. But I always wanna go through each individual one and just let you guys see exactly how it's done. Uh, so I've dropped my Super Mario Brothers ROM. I have it zipped. Um, this particular emulator will read zip files, so you can keep them zipped up. They're already pretty small as it is, but just in case. Um, next thing we're gonna do is in the systems, we're gonna create a uh, folder, and we're gonna call that NES. Open that up, <clears throat> excuse me. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up our emulator, the zip file, and we're just gonna drag and drop it directly into the systems folder. So once that's done, we're actually almost done with the whole installation. Um, at the very last part of this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our systems config and we need to add <clears throat> um, emulation or uh, Nintendo to this. I've already done it, so pause the video, write all this stuff down. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory here. Just make sure, as always, um, you look at all the spelling, you know, everything spelled correctly, and um, that the paths match exactly. If you have systems here, and then your folder is system, it won't work. Uh, I've had a lot of comments so far about people struggling to get these things to work. Uh, they start Emulation Station up, it goes to a black screen, and then goes right back to Emulation Station. It doesn't start the game. And almost 100% of the time, I would say 99% of the time, it's because of some misp, you know, spelling. It's not even just spelled wrong, it's just it doesn't match. Almost all the time that's the case. So make sure this is taken care of, make sure we save it, and we're good to go. That's all you really need to do. So um, we'll start it up here. Once again, not going to talk through it because uh, sound gets all goobered up and everything as we jump through, but I always want to make sure that we start it up together and take a look at the game so that way we verify that's actually running so So as you notice here, um, the screen is uh, in like a little windowed mode. There is a way to go in here and make it full screen. However, in my testing, it kind of kept crashing a couple of times. Um, however, even if you do it full screen, it looks pretty crappy anyways. This was never meant to be displayed in this large of a screen to begin with. Um, second caveat with this particular emulator is you're gonna wanna go in and make sure you configure your controller ahead of time. This one definitely every single time you um, install it for the first time, it's going to require you to um, set the controller up. So just keep that in mind. Like once you set it up once, it's good to go. It's not going to forget it or whatever. But um, like I've installed this once already, like a couple of days ago, and already it's forgotten my stuff because I deleted it and put a new one on here. So um, I believe you go up to config 
and then you go to input and this will allow you to do all the controller setup and everything so this also is just going to show you if you go into video this is where the full screen stuff is and you can manipulate this and see if it'll work for you i'm running windows 10 with a uh, graphics card and everything and it barked at me every single time it just crashed so not quite sure if this is just a really buggy emulator but it was one of the best ones that had the most um, options so uh, leave a comment down below if you guys are running in the same issue though that's kind of interesting All right, and that's it. We're all done. There's no more to do. Um, really appreciate all the comments and questions everybody's had so far and the uh, other uh, videos. And um, yeah, all right. Thanks, guys. Happy emulating.